<laughs> I love it. Today we're going a thousand years into the future and reacting to some of the strange and crazy medical type situations and medicine from the TV show Futurama. I've never seen Futurama before, so for those like myself who might not be familiar with the show, I read that it centers around a 25-year-old pizza delivery boy whose life is pretty much going nowhere. One day, he accidentally freezes himself and wakes up 1,000 years in the future and has a chance to make a fresh start. And evidently, there will be hilarious medical scenes, but we'll see about that. But before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor that deals with every medical situation that you you can think of gunshot wounds, COVID, broken hips, firework mishaps. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get asked every day from people. If you find this video helpful, please smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's check out the clips from Futurama. So my efforts to establish diplomatic relations with the cactus people were doomed from the start. Oh, ow, just first off, cactus thorns are painful. Remember I always say don't pull anything out. If it's just into the skin like a splinter, that's not gonna cause any major bleeding and organ damage or blood vessels or nerves, that's fine to pull out at home. I prescribe acupuncture, let's begin. <laughs> blood? I mean blood. Put it back in me. Oh my goodness, okay. Acupuncture does have its place. Typically it's more Eastern medicine versus Western medicine. And yeah, that was intense. Fry lost a lot of <sighs> juice. He's developed Simpson's jaundice. I crumb. Simpson's jaundice. <laughs> So jaundice in itself is a medical term when you turn yellow. At that level, if your body's that yellow, you probably have what's called a bilirubin that's crazy high, having to do with uh, abnormal liver function or blockage. That needs to be checked out. His only hope is some crazy. replacement liver. There you Yours go, liver disease. Like a good match. Well, if it'll help Fry. Careful, Leela. He knows less about human anatomy <laughs> than I do. Oh my gosh. And I can't even find my own uterus. <laughs> liver transplants a uh, little bit harder. You only have one liver. Now you can you can actually transplant pieces of a liver, um, and it could potentially regrow itself. And oh all my goodness! All you need is a little spine supplement to replace what Leela lost in that unavoidable saw mix-up. Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> I love how the the one chopped off in half, and the person's you know she's still alive and that it looks like a piece of ham that it was cut through, just one bone in the middle and just like random red tissue. One, you shouldn't be talking and that's not survivable. Or you bleed out from your aorta. You know, a lot of things going on in this situation. And I don't think a skill saw potentially could go all the way around like that. You just had to stop cutting my spine when I yelled, stop, you're cutting my spine. <laughs> Quit complaining. My body oh, rejected your liver and now I've got Garfield syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Went from Simpsons jaundice to now Garfield syndrome. <laughs> it's really funny. All right, let's check out the next clip. Bender, go steal the doomsday device chained to the professor's wrist. Here, swap this for the real one. Oh. Ah, the old switcheroo. Here you go. Oh. The same, oh my gosh, it amputated his hand. So I've seen this multiple times. It's grotesque and gruesome and I feel horrible. Most of the times you can't reattach the hand because they've been either ripped off or too jagged and there's so many bones in the wrist that you just can't get these things back together. And so you end up having an amputation of the hand or at the mid forearm, it's horrible. Oh. <laughs> I just threw the hand away. You can't, don't just throw away hands in the dumpster. It's like biological, right? So it needs to go to the appropriate uh, disposal. Dumpster enjoying a moldy fudgicle, <laughs> when suddenly your hand flies over and slaps me in the tuchus. <laughs> slaps me in the tuchus, <laughs> which is butt. But they're sewing back the hand. Obviously you can sew back anything, but the question ends up being, will it take because of the nutrients that you need with the blood vessels to reattach the vessels and reattach the nerves? Yes, well, these things happen. Fortunately, the Sphero Boom is still safe. Oh, <gasps> ooh. And me? Oh, look, perfect. The hand is working back to normal. No problem. Normal function, you typically would not have that. The hand wouldn't go back to normal like that. So obviously, it's only got four digits, right? So it's got a thumb and three fingers. That's not normal. Now you have a talking head in a jar. But this is in the future, and things are a little bit different. 
If I could find an undamaged body, could you recapitate me? <laughs> I like it. So just you see two different body parts, you sew them back together and see what happens. Yes, no, we can't do that in uh, medicine these days because typically it won't work. You can have body rejection. And then if it doesn't work, then you're just having this rotting flesh of an attachment just sitting there and eventually you can cause sepsis and you can cause osteomyelitis and just bad infections all around. Oh, I love the ambulance. I love the different language. Taco Bellevue Hospital, I love it. So there's a Bellevue Hospital out in New York City, but I like that they added Taco Bell to it. Taco Bell or Bellevue. All right, looking at the eye. I don't like the looks of this doctor. I bet I've lost more patients than he's even treated. Okay. Oh my gosh. What does this look like to you? <laughs> um, a grayish blob? Right. <laughs> I love that it's a grayish blob, but you can see that her eye is super red. That's uh, basically injection is what we call it, conjunctival injection or actually scleral injections. The white part of your eye is the sclera and that can get inflamed for many different reasons. And uh, now he's just doing a quick visual assessment. The first one was a blob and now a we got this other blob? image of a that bird right. with that's a tennis right. racket. It looks like you might have some mild oh, that's corneal not so irritation. Good. Nice try, little boy. So the cornea itself is the very thin cell layers that are clear that go over top of the pupil and it was the iris which is the colored part of the eye. You'll know if you have like a scratch or anything like that. It's very painful. You may have your textbook knowledge and your real diploma, but I have more <laughs> skill in my little claw than you have in your whole carapace. <laughs> you seem a bit tense. Here, try these. Oh my gosh. Sure, butter me up with candy. Well, it won't work, Sonny. <laughs> Why oh. always the fighting? Typically, certain different medications can do that. So pinpoint pupils occurs when you basically are taking heroin, morphine, or a pain pill. Dilated pupils, multiple different reasons, a type of stimulant, right? So if you're stimulated and your sympathetic nervous system kicks on, you're going to have a dilation of your pupils so you can get more light in so you can see. Your eye just needs some rest. You'll have to wear this patch for about a week. <laughs> so one eye person you're putting a patch on, what, how is she going to go walk around and see anything? They're putting an eye patch, that way basically the cells will heal without irritation of one, your eyelid irritating the layers trying to heal as well as not letting your eye dry out. All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Heather, your personal euthesizer. Let's get started with a nice botulism treatment. <laughs> Let's get a nice botulism treatment. So botulism or botulinum neurotoxin is what is in Botox. So that is what helps paralyze our wrinkles away, so to speak. Go to hell, Heather. Oh. <laughs> in small doses. Oh, gross. <laughs> so, so botulism can occur in like busted cans. Um, so be really, really careful if you have like a can, any canned food at your house that it's got like pressure, it looks like it's gonna explode open, get rid of that because there could be some toxin in there. Instead of killing you in the most horrible fashion imaginable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give me back my fluffy face. <laughs> so there are specific areas where you actually get Botox injected. You don't want to just shoot around and get injections anywhere in your face or by anybody, but check out my other video that I made on uh, Botox itself. All right, let's keep going. Oh, 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 careful with the giblets. Mm, you're still retaining a lot of grump in these joints. More pressure. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's like putty, oh my goodness. <laughs> Massage is really good. It's really good to relax the muscles um, and heal your body faster from different ailments. A soothing full body bath in searing hot tar. <laughs> I like this med spa, but you don't want to go into searing hot tar. You're going to cause yourself burns. And with tar, it's going to stick on there and just continue to burn. Holy cow. This guy is 161. He looks really good. Minus during the massage, half his skin came off. <laughs> there. Fixed forever. Oh. Uh oh. Hopefully that's just hot steam. Oh man, explosion. Oh! As I always say, don't pull it out. Man, there's pipe straight through the body, right below the xiphoid process into the abdomen, it looks like. And he's doing okay. This is probably not realistic, but you gotta worry about spinal cord injury, aorta injury, your liver is part up in that area. There's a bunch of different things that that, that area could hit. Ah, the hypochondriac's oh, back. 
So what is it this time? <laughs> Hypochondriac, right? Somebody who's always worried that they're always sick, there's always something wrong with them, that there's always an ailment. This happens. People get worried that something bad is going to happen. So doctors just have to address it appropriately to ease the anxiety and the worries away. Well, my lead pipe hurts a little. That's normal. <laughs> Next patient. What the? What? Oh, so cool. Obviously, no bleeding. You can see inside the body. And then all of a sudden, this web of healing occurs. Super awesome. I wish we had that nowadays. <laughs> Whoa. Try, did you eat anything unusual recently? <laughs> well, what about that bathroom egg salad from the truck stop? <laughs> egg salad? Hmm. Egg so salad. We'll have to examine your gastrointestinal tract. Oh my gosh. They even even they're wigged out basically in this futuristic uh, time where he just healed himself and they're worried about if it's related to food that he ate, but he wants to investigate his gastrointestinal tract, basically mouth to anus multiple sections of your colon, all of that stuff they want to look at. If you can't see well enough through the two-way mirror, there'll be a close-up on this video screen. Oh, jeez. What the? So the doctor's using a stethoscope and he's hearing a, a truck backing camera. up. Oh, Guess there again. you go. Oh, jeez, going up the, you know what? So that's, that's for your colonoscopy. You definitely don't want to put the colonoscopy camera down your mouth. That's all I'm trying to say. I like how it's like a show. Oh, super cool. Doing a really good job of showing basically the anatomy of the intestines, the rings around, which basically think could hide in different corners. You're looking for polyps, different looking for bleeding or masses or cancer. Pretty cool. Watch for any subtle irregularity in Fry's body. What? <laughs> Super cool. It's got like a whole universe in its colon. This used to be a big dump. <laughs> worms. So worms happen. There's different types of ascariasis is a common worm. There's a lot of worms that you could potentially get. Round worms. They're called helmets. And actually, it just occurred to me, kind of weird that mayonnaise, the main brand of mayonnaise, is helmets. And now you have helmets as a medical word for worms in your body. Ew, pucatronic. So the eggs in that egg salad sandwich Whoa. were correct. Worm eggs. And the mayonnaise was probably none Look too about the mayonnaise. Either. Look at this. There is some correlation. I promise you, I never saw this before. You got to be super careful of the things that you're eating and ingesting, knowing where you get it from. Because if you get worms in your body, it can cause malnutrition and a lot of other problems. But pretty funny and accurate. All right. Well, that's it. I loved it. That was really good. That was the first time checking out Futurama. And I loved the, the doctor with the claws. Hilarious. So really, really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that React video. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episode in the comments below. And if you want to see me react to video games, check me out on the Expert to React series on Gameology right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.